think that you'll meet your wife on a wild spring break trip, but that's exactly what happened to our returning contestant, Ben Byrne, from Greenfield, Massachusetts. And part of the reason Ben is here today is to win enough money for another type of trip. Where do you want to go now, Ben? Uh, well, you know, we've only been married four months, but we haven't been on our honeymoon yet. So I am oh. really hoping that I can use this appearance here to pay for our honeymoon. Where would you like to go? Oh, we are headed to Belize, hopefully. How nice is that? Okay, so what happened was your young kids and you got married and you just had a you maxed out paying for the wedding. Yeah, pretty much. We've we've been pretty busy and okay. pretty broke since yeah. then. So But you celebrate <laughs> you let you celebrated a honeymoon night. Yes. Yes, oh, okay. I just checked it. All right. <laughs> so you got that out of the way and exactly. now you have a nice little vacation and depending on how much money you make Well, you know, every question I get right is is a nicer hotel room. I oh, think all right. <laughs> 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 Good beginning here. You already got $2,000. You're going for $4,000, nine away from the million. You still have all your lifelines on the table to help you. You're 50 50. You can phone a friend or you can ask the audience. And when you get to that $25,000 mark, you will get the fourth lifeline switch the question. And I would love you to leave here with this Capital One check for $1 million. Now that's a honeymoon. Yeah. Absolutely, Audience, let's play. Audience, are you ready to play? Well, let's play Millionaire. All right, Ben, this is for $4,000. Which of these salad fixings is also commonly produced in the U.S. to make hay? Celery, carrots, alfalfa, spinach. Well, you know, I, I put all of these on my salad, but I think only one of them makes hay, and that's C. alfalfa. Final? Yes, final answer. That's the one. You have it, Ben. Let's start. It's for 8,000. In the spectrum of visible light, what color's waves have the highest frequency? Violet, green, red, yellow. Um... Remember that? That's something you learned like in high school. Right? Yeah, you know, I know what the what the endpoints are, but I don't know which one is high and which one is low. So I'm going to use the 50-50 and see if that helps. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. <laughs> uh, I believe it's random, it is but random. it didn't help me. <laughs> um, I would like to call Matt. Matt? Yes. And who's Matt? Uh, he's a friend of mine. Okay. We're going to get Matt on the line. Hello? Hey, Matt. Hi. Hi, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm sitting here with you-know-who. Yep. Yep, Ben. He's got $4,000 going for 8000 He just needs your help. All right. Let me see if I can help him. Terrific. Ben, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. All right, Matt, what color's waves have the highest frequency? Is it violet or red? The highest frequency is violet. All right, you're totally sure of that? I'm totally sure. All right. Good well, luck. Thanks, Matt. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> For you, anyway. Yeah. Well, now you need to use it. All right. Okay, Matt said... Violet. Right, and you go with him, you're at 8,000. All right, so I'll go with A, Violet. This is my final answer. Yeah, he's right, you have 8,000. This is for 16,000. One of at least 50 children born to a construction mogul, Osama bin Laden was until 1994 a citizen of what country? Iran, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Syria. Well, I know he lived in Sudan, but I'm pretty sure that he was a citizen of Saudi Arabia. I know that there's a big construction company in Saudi Arabia, so I'm going to go with B as my final answer. You got
Massachusetts is burning up the set here, doing a great job. The sixteen thousand dollars. That's enough for the honeymoon, don't you think? I, I think that'll be a very nice honeymoon. Very, yeah. very nice honeymoon in Belize. I know you said you married four months, looking to yeah. go on a honeymoon, but you sort of knew coming into this game that you were going to do well. Well, I had an inkling. I um, I collect fortune cookie fortunes, and. <laughs> Recently, I got one saying you will get everything you want. Ah. I can only assume that means a million dollars from you. <laughs> well, I've got it here for you. You only have to answer six more questions. All right. All right. You get the next question right, and you will get that fourth lifeline switch to question. Are you ready to play? Absolutely. All right, then let's play. <laughs> for 25,000 then. In 2005, Martha Stewart's house arrest was extended after reports of her participation in what taboo activity? Getting a pedicure, attending yoga class, shopping for antiques, golfing. Oh, I heard about this. And, you know, I, I remember hearing it was extended, but I don't remember why. So, I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, audience, Ben needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, whoa. 45% of this audience believes it's attending yoga class. 30% say shopping for antiques. Let's see what the AOL is the messenger crowd has to say. 41 agree with yoga. Look at that. They also, 30%, say shopping for antiques. I was hoping for higher numbers yeah, than that. Yeah, not great numbers, but, but... that's what I was leaning toward in the first place. So I think, uh, I know to trust this audience. They're usually pretty good. But if they're wrong, just so you know, you will go down to a thousand. But if they're uh, right, you'll go up to 25,000. Since it's what I had been thinking, I, I, I feel good about it. I'm going to go with the final answer. Ooh, what a honeymoon you're going to have. Yeah. that fourth lifeline now, Ben. All right. You reach a question, you don't know the answer, switch right out of it, okay? This is for $50,000. Featuring large floating eyes, the dream sequence in Hitchcock's Spellbound was designed by whom? Salvador Dali, Marcel Duchamp, Rene Magritte, Pablo Picasso. Now, I, I studied some art history, and I'm familiar with all of these artists. But I don't have any idea which of these four would have done this. Um, I think I'm going to switch the question. You want to switch out? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any idea. All right, let's have the computer show us what the correct answer was. Salvador Dali. You know for the future, and now, computer, please randomly select another question worth $50,000. 50000 then. In 1911, what explorer beat a rival by five weeks? to become the first man to reach the South Pole. Roald Amundsen, Richard Byrd, Robert Perry, Robert Scott. Recognize a couple of these names. Of course, it's a free question anyway, right? Absolutely. All you right. have the 25,000 no matter what. So I know Amundsen and Byrd were both Arctic explorers and Antarctic explorers. I'm not sure who got there first, but uh, I'm going to go with A, Roald Amundsen. Final? Final answer. You're good, Ben. You got $50,000. What did the fortune cookie say again? You will get everything you want? Everything you want. You're going for $100,000. You're just four away from the million. See the question. The eight-year-old recipient of the famous reply, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus, had what last name? Walsh, McNichols, Donnelly, O'Hanlon. Remember that? Yeah, I know the I know the phrase, yeah. but uh, I think of Virginia Woolf, and obviously that's not right. <laughs> um, I don't think so. No. 
know. Um, I think because of the wolf thing, I'm leaning toward Walsh, but I really, I really deep down, I don't know the answer to this question. Um, I would love to have a million dollars, but I'm pretty happy with where I am, so I think I'm going to have to walk. Is that a final? <sighs> yeah, that's a final. You should be very happy with $50,000. That's tremendous. Saying that with the right answer is Ben. It was O'Hanlon. Good thing you didn't get to sit right there and try this set. Congratulations. You. Best to you and Martha. Have a wonderful honeymoon. Thank you. And folks at home, stick around. We'll be back with our next player in just a moment.